Hi friends, just a quick message. If you are enjoying the content of this channel and you think you would like to take the time to support me, anything is appreciated, even a dollar a month if you want to. Check out the link down below. Patron, thank you. Namaste and enjoy your meditation. Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down, you're comfortable in bed, everything is just right in your room, the lights, the covers, you have all of your teddies or whatever you need to be comfortable so that you can relax. It was late in the middle of the night when Fred, the police dog, heard a knock at the door. It was a very quiet, muffled knock, but he heard it because he was a police dog and he was always on guard. And also at the top of the stairs was Giraffe, Javier's giraffe, who couldn't sleep that night and also heard the knock. So they both went downstairs together to answer the door. When they opened the door, there were three stuffed toys. One was a baby giraffe. Another one was another baby giraffe that was completely white. And the other one was a puppy, a puppy dog. Fred said, Good evening, what's going on? Are you fellas okay? Can I help you? What are you doing knocking on our door in the middle of the night? Everyone's asleep. They all introduced themselves. The first baby giraffe was called Loli. And she was just a normal looking baby giraffe. The second baby giraffe was called Lola. And she was completely white. She was very unique. But there are some giraffes that are completely white. And then the puppy was called Prince. Oh, the puppy was so cute. They all said that they were lost. They'd been for a walk with the owner in the woods earlier that day. And she took all three of them in her pram that she pushes when she walks. She's very, very young. Somehow... They don't know how, but they'd got toppled out of the pram onto the ground in the woods and then everyone in the family had carried on walking and not noticed that the owner, the little girl, had dropped them on the floor. Of course they couldn't shout help or you dropped us or come back, don't leave us which is what they were all shouting and screaming inside. But they couldn't shout that out loud because stuffed animals don't talk, right? Normally. So the poor little things had got left in the woods and they'd been out there for hours and hours and hours when they decided that they were going to walk to try and get some help. Fred and Giraffe was the first house that they came to and their house looked welcoming outside and they thought well it's worth a risk let's knock on the door and see if we can get some help they explained all of this to Fred and Giraffe and both of them had a little chat between them and decided to bring them into the house they took them upstairs and the first thing that they did was take them into the bathroom those toys were very, very dirty. Fred and Giraffe decided that they were going to wash them, put them in the bathtub and scrub them up with soap, get them all nice and clean. So that's what they were doing when the door to the bathroom opened. It creaked just a little bit, enough for everyone to freeze really quickly. In walked Ethan and Javier. 
Both Ethan and Aviel looked at what was happening and both of them at the same time said together, What's going on here? All of the teddies instantly relaxed when they knew it were the boys because the boys were used to them being magical and being able to talk and do fantastic things. So that's when Fred explained to Ethan and Javier that these poor little baby giraffes and this poor little puppy prince were lost and they needed a new home or they needed help trying to find their way back to the house. So we're going to bath them and we're going to feed them and we're going to dry them off and take care of them and show them what it feels like to be loved and um, we're going to do everything right, said Fred. So the boys started to help. They scrubbed off the toys, they put shampoo all over them and washed them and then they squeezed them so all the water came out and then they dried them off really, really well with a towel. Ethan even tried to dry them with a hair dryer, which was ingenious. They got them all nice and dry and then they put some clothes on them and then they got them all warm and tucked up into bed with everyone around. Both Loli and Lola were very, very tired. Prince, the puppy, had a little bit more energy and he was pouncing around all over the place. Can we play? Can we play? I'd like to play. I always like to play. Can we play? At that point, Fred was playing with Prince. I'll wear him out, he said. I'll have him running all over the bedroom for a few minutes and he'll be tired before long. You watch. So he ran him all over the bedroom. They were jumping on the beds and jumping off the beds and running under the beds and jumping over the toys and jumping off the cupboards. They were doing all sorts of stuff until finally Prince the puppy said, Ooh, I'm tired. I think I'd like to lay down. And then he snuggled in next to Loli and Lola. Javier decided that he was going to read everyone a story. Giraffe, Fred the police dog, Loli, Lola and Prince the puppy all snuggled in together. Ethan laid at the bottom of the bed and listened to while Javier decided what story he could tell. He was going to make one up from his imagination because he was a very intelligent, smart little boy and he could probably do that very easily. Ethan said he would pipe in and help with different things at different times. They were both very, very smart. So Javier said, Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there were three little stuffed toys that got lost in the woods. Two of them were baby giraffes, Loli and Lola. The baby giraffes really liked the fact that they were in the story. And another one of the toys was a little puppy called Prince. <gasps> Prince smiled from ear to ear, which was really easy because his little face was very cute and it had a big smile on it already. So it looked like he was smiling all the time. He was a really sweet stuffed toy. So they laid there listening. Fred the police dog, said Javier, was very brave. And he found them out in the woods in a storm. A storm where no one else would go because it was thundering and lightning. And everyone else was afraid of the storm except Fred the police dog, who was the bravest dog in the world. He saved the baby giraffes and the puppy from the worst storm ever. Brought them back to the house, cleaned them up, gave them something to eat put nice warm clothes on them, took them into bed. Ethan said, Do you, puppy, feel loved? Do you, baby giraffes, feel loved? All three of the toys nodded their heads at the same time and smiled. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Javier carried on telling a story. Even though they were lost, and even though they'd been lost from their previous owner, 
had found a new home, a new home where there were lots and lots of stuffed toys to get to know and become friends with. And bestest of all, they had Ethan and Javier to take care of them at all times because both of those boys were awesome. Correct, Ethan? Ethan said, yes, correct. Javier nodded. Javier then said, every night, the baby giraffes, Loli and Lola, and the puppy prince would have a story read to them by Ethan and Javier, and it would be a different adventure every night. An adventure where they would go off and journey around the world. An adventure where they all became superheroes and they saved the planet from giant snowstorms or earthquakes or tsunamis. They would have different adventures where they would tell stories about loving each other as a family and taking care of each other as a family and always be nice to each other. Every night they would get a new story. This made Lola and Loli and Prince feel very happy about the fact that they found a new home. They would miss their old home, but to be honest, the old owner had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of toys, and she probably wouldn't miss them. Whereas Ethan and Javier were going to take very good care of them. And they were part of a family already. Fred the police dog felt like their dad, and Giraffe, well... Giraffe was very loving. Everything felt right. Ethan told the toys that they all liked to fall asleep listening to a meditation story. He explained exactly what that was and how it helps everyone lay down and be still and quiet and relax. It makes everyone feel happy and comfortable and safe. They all snuggled in together and pressed play and started to listen to a story. Javier said, make sure everyone closes their eyes and lay still and quiet. Ethan said, make sure that you're comfortable and warm and snug as a bug. And then they all laid and listened with their eyes closed. They started to relax. Relax your toes and your feet and your ankles. Take a nice deep breath and imagine you're breathing all the way down to your toes. Let your feet get heavy and completely comfortable. Relax your ankles and your legs. Imagine that you have big heavy boots on and you've been running around all day and now your legs are super tired so it feels really really nice to just let them get heavy and completely relax relax your back You can roll over and lay on your side if you want to and bring your knees up into your tummy a little bit. Snuggle into a teddy. Close your eyes if you haven't done so already. 
keep them closed and be still and quiet. Ethan and Javier peeked and checked on the toys. Everyone had got their eyes closed. It looked like Lola and Loli and Prince were already asleep. Fred, the police dog, was laid above everyone as if he was taking guard and watching over, keeping everybody safe. And Giraffe had got one of its arms around all the new little toys. Relax your tummy. Your ribs, your chest. Let the muscles relax around your neck and the back of your shoulders. Let everything get heavy and sleepy. Relax your arms and your hands. Just allow your whole body to start to be rested and comfortable and very, very sleepy. Your head is heavy and sleepy. muscles in your face are sleepy. You're warm and safe. Everything is good in the world. No worries. No stress. You can just relax. <laughs>